Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 3 of my kitbash build of the Bandai ATST and Revels VW Sander. Sander? Samba. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell, that'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be cutting pieces off the sprue that we're going to be using. The external of the ATST cabin, the rear of the cabin and the vast majority of the instrument instrument panels we're going to be using. So let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Now to mark these parts where we'll be cutting them. So let's get marking. That's these parts ready for snipping, sanding and hacking about. So let's get this going. Here we have those parts ready for fitting. Now for some more instrument panels getting hacked and bashed. If you know, you know. And there we have one hacked and bashed, then sanded. Now for the other one. There we have both of those hacked, bashed and sanded. Next we're taking the cabin and we're going to do the same to this. We marked it earlier, now we're going to saw it and sand it. I'm deliberately not telling you where these parts are going 
as I want you lot to be as surprised as I was when I first test fitted these pieces. So, here we go. See what I mean? It's like they were made for each other. As you can see, the ends of my sanders kept popping off. I was getting a tad irate by this time. Then I realised I had my speed set too high. Once I turned it down, then the problem went away. Idiot. I'm really happy with how these have turned out and how well they fit into that space inside the door. Now, let's get them glued into place. I'm using my trusty homebrew extra thin, so let's get them done. There we have those instrument panels glued into the doors as the door cards. Now it's time for some hacking and bashing again, this time of the Samba. First, the roof. Here we go. That's the roof cut to size. Now to measure up the roof hatch and get it cut out. There we have the roof hatch done. I will clean it up later on, honest. Do you folks remember in episode one, I mentioned Sprue J? Yep, this is where I realized I didn't have it in the box. Yes, it's come back to bite me. So I had to improvise, but that comes later as I needed to think about it at the time. As you can see, the ball connector goes in there perfectly. No problems. All we need to do is just snip off those two little tabs, then flatten the inside of the samba. But we're not going to do that now. What we're going to do is we're going to cut into the samba. Here we go.
there we have the front end of the Samba cut off. That's ready. Now, let's get the underside ground out ready for the ball connector. Here we have the connector fitted. You can tell I've got a new camera and can't even find the bloody lens. Look, there it is. Also, I thought I had cut those two tabs off. Obviously I didn't. As promised earlier, let's get the roof hatch sorted, shall we? hatch all cleaned up and glued in place looks pretty good I'm happy now I'm not sure what this part is from the Samba if you know pop it in the comments but we're going to be putting it on the roof in front of the hatch so let's get that sorted There we have the Doobly Firkin What's It's Face glued in place. You know, that What's It jobby. Next up, we're giving the right hand strut just behind the seat a bit of support as it feels a tad flimsy. So I'm going to be using some of my styrene strips here. So let's get it done. And there we have the styrene glued in place. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 3 of my kit bash build. If you want to see what happens in episode 4, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.